Many of the most ancient stone structures we cover here upon our channel, whose origins undoubtedly span far back into Earth's antiquity, in our experience are often, unfortunately, due to the rigid, unchanging conclusions set forth in regards to academic history just over a century ago, will not only encounter reoccurring anomalies, suspiciously precise stone cuts, unexplainable by any of our lesser capable yet institutionally permitted ancestors with whatever said civilization were to equip with, yet regardless and rather arrogantly refuse to budge in terms of the official tale of events. This then means that anyone with critical thinking skills will continually and often come across feats of ancient engineering somehow accomplished by said people, enormous and perfectly refined stone carvings that, according to, and as a result of, academic institutions' reluctance to budge must be explained away as having, somehow, once been cut and created with tools of a soft metal. Yet in reality, this is simply an impossibility. It is a lie only possible on paper, yet this lie is mass-printed all over our planet. It is in Mystery History's opinion that these advanced and thus inexplicable features which litter our videos in abundance are each and all clear evidence of a far more advanced yet far more ancient and thus lost civilization. Additionally, another reoccurring theme anyone exploring this confusing, enigmatic, and although little shared, ever-growing list of ancient unexplainable structures, no funded individual dare attempt to explain the methodology of said build but will find that they are, instead, extremely eager to willingly and immorally seal the fate of these marvelous buildings' legacy, condemning them to the ever-growing list we like to call the label of the tomb. A ruthless, willing, and well-funded army of researchers, tasked with exploring any archaeology from a very specific time period, thus we posit any re-inhabitation of said site's archaeology is used nearly always absent an explanation as to how they built said buildings, depending the construction on whom is most convenient. An eventual attribution for all of these exquisite and quite possibly incredible important historical relics as simply tombs. We have in the past touched upon false doors, claimed witchcraft, which seemingly permeated all ancient civilizations worldwide from littering the 1,000-ton-plus toppled obelisk of Aksum, exposing the advanced ruins in Ethiopia, but also the Giza Plateau among countless other locations on Earth seemingly spanning many lost civilizations' ruins. And the site which is the focus of this video, we feel, is one of the most awe-inspiring false doors on Earth. When it comes to false doors, a sheer mountain side carved away perfectly not only creating a tomb of master stonework in a time of history, when this should have simply been impossible. Its false door, however, proof of its far greater age, leading into some incredible landscape, makes it a site which undoubtedly adds intrigue to the mystery of the false door, and whether we will ever unlock its fullest potentials. We previously covered one in Peru in a subject-specific film. Link will be at the end local legend claimed it was once a portal. It is clearly a false door, as seen all over the world, just like that of Axum, seemingly laser-cut into the hillside. What we found highly compelling, however, was that it had been cut into the only mountainside in all of Peru to have possessed an extremely rare earth element in the stone, which we now use in high-end transmission of radio, sound, and light waves. Every day, we get closer and closer to finally understanding what these doors were. Kapilikea Rock Tomb is not only an extraordinarily well-located ruin, located in Kirkdilim, 27 kilometers north of Churum, Turkey, on a rocky, steep, rough-formed, thus hard bedrock. It is clearly a relic of one of the lost civilizations we have long been studying not only due to the precision of the stone cut the masterful choice of location, but also the use of the false door, in our opinion, proves beyond doubt that this ruin was made by the same lost civilization or civilizations as we are currently pursuing an identity and a legacy for here upon our channel. 
a civilization once capable of moving and building with 1,000-plus ton megalithic stones, possibly even the builders of or the descendants of the true group of people responsible for the Great Pyramids themselves. Many things which do not add up are often overlooked or dismissed. But in our experience, the ancient ruins never lie if you let them tell the story and explore said relics with a quest to understand what they may still be able to tell us. It does not matter what others may claim, for as we know, the truth will always prevail. And that is something we find highly compelling.